Hello my friends and welcome back to our channel Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane, author of the series of books Knowledge to Forage and Foraging, the complete guide for kids and families. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world and thank you all for joining me here today where I'm absolutely blessed to be spending my time in the company of the wonderful willow trees. Willows are fantastic plants. They can grow to tall sizes. We get corkscrew willows with their twisty branches, the dappled willow with its colorful leaves, a pussy willow with its fluffy flowers. Some grow into large trees. Some spend their lives as shrubs. Some don't grow to more than six inches tall like the dwarf willow. But there's no more famous willow in the world than the tree I have behind me here, the weeping willow. So if you're interested, then come with me and we'll dive into the world and learn all the wisdom of the weeping willow tree. So what's the first thing you notice when we approach this wonderful weeping willow tree? Of course it's its unique drooping dangly branches. The weeping willow grows out like a normal tree strong from the ground but then its branches branch out and dangle back down touching the floor looking like a natural flowing waterfall. Now it's these dangly branches that got the tree its name, the weeping willow. Why? Well, it's because historically people felt like the weeping drooping branches made this tree look like it was feeling a bit sad, a bit slouched and depressed compared to other trees that grow strong and straight and upright. The weeping willow appears that it's in a state of sadness and mourning. And that's why the tree became known as the weeping willow. But that interpretation of the weeping willow's branches dangling down towards the ground, meaning it's depressed and upset, I personally disagree with because I believe that if you grow or look differently or behave differently to everyone else, then this isn't a negative thing. And the weeping willow is a fantastic example of this. The weeping willow has its own personal loves in this world. It loves to grow in damp soil next to rivers. And who wouldn't want to spend their life relaxing next to the river? It grows strong and tall out the ground. And when we look closely at the bark, it fishes and slowly twists. Up when we reach the top, the branches dangle down. These fragile branches hang all the way down towards the ground, touching the floor or dipping their toes lightly in the river next to it grows. They're covered in these long thin green leaves and these little flowers that look like caterpillars. Now the willow tree is what's known as dioecious. This means that you get both male and female trees. The male trees have the male flowers and the female trees have the female flowers and they both look like little caterpillars. These are called catkins. Now this tree takes good care of itself and the environment where it grows because it provides an abundance for wildlife. These leaves are eaten by caterpillars and the flowers are visited by moths, bees and butterflies and because the branches are so bendy birds love to nest and spend their lives living in this magnificent tree. Now the willow doesn't just take good care of itself, the wildlife and the environment, it also takes good care of people too. How? Well, because it has a very special compound flowing through its veins. Nature's aspirin flows through the veins of the willows. There's more than 350 types of willow in this world growing all around it in the temperate regions and they all have this natural aspirin known as salicylic acid. It's this salicylic acid flowing through the veins of the willow that can help treat pain, inflammation and fevers. And it's been used all throughout history for reducing pain of headaches, toothaches, backaches and fevers. It can be traced all the way back to Hippocrates, the ancient Romans, the Egyptians, the ancient Chinese and more. Now this medicine is easy to get out of the willow because it's in the cambium layer. That's basically the wet layer underneath the dry layer. And all you do is skim some out and chew it fresh for some instant wild and free pain relief. If you're out hiking and you get a headache or a toothache, you can chew this cambium layer of the bark to reduce your pain and suffering. Or you can collect some branches from the tree and take lots of wood skimmings from it. And you can use this to infuse with warm water to create a natural pain killing tea. You can also dry these bark trimmings to preserve the tea. How incredible is that? 
this tree, a gift from Mother Nature, can help reduce our pain and suffering. Think about the last time you had a headache or a toothache. This tree has the ability to take that suffering away. Oh my God. <laughs> you hear that? The wind in the willows. Of course, that inspired the title of the book, Wind in the Willows. And it was said that this book was called that because of the charming sound the willows make as they rustle in the breeze. Now before this, all the way back in medieval Europe, it was also believed that this rustling sound of the willows was the voices of the elves as they echoed across the wind. Now when it comes to history, myth, folklore and mythological legends, the willow tree has many incredible stories, both good and bad. In Europe, in the UK, it was believed that the willow tree was able to uproot itself and walk around and it was said that it would follow travellers as they travelled across the land. In England, it was also considered extremely bad luck to make your home from the wood of the willow because the willow was also used to make the gallows. But on the other hand, it was also said that if you tapped the wood of willow, this would bring you good luck and good fortune. And this is where the saying, touch wood comes from, touch wood. <laughs> and on the other side of the world, in ancient Asia, in Buddhism, it was believed that the princess Kuan Yin, who became the goddess of love and compassion, held willow twigs in her hand. As always, it's been a pleasure. Don't forget to do all their modern world things such as like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Follow us on our other social medias. And if you want to own all the knowledge just like this video in book form, check out our awesome series of books, Knowledge to Forage, or our new book, Foraging, The Complete Guide for Kids and Families. We now also offer woodland workshops in person and you can subscribe to our educational work packs where once a month we'll send you educational worksheets to increase your knowledge to forage and the rest of the knowledge that we can share on the natural world. You can find all the links to all that stuff in description, but most importantly of all, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all next time. Peace. They say the wonderful willow weeps, but what if it simply enjoys relaxing with wet feet? It's medicine, not money that grows on trees. Mother nature can take care of all our needs.